Hello everybody, and you're watching episode 2 of the Legos with Hunter series. Um, it's season 3, episode 2, I believe, if I got that all right. It's really late at night, it's 9.09. .09. Well, not really late, but pretty late to be recording a video. But um, my brother, especially Daniel, um, they have been posting a lot of Lego videos recently. Try and get an up angle, that's always the best option. Um... Yeah, they've been posting a lot of Lego videos lately. I decided, hey, why don't I do one? That'd be kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do one. Great explanation, Hunter. Today in this video, I think I'm going to go over some of the ships. It's been a long time since we worked here. Um, it's been like a few weeks since I recorded the previous episode. So a lot of stuff has changed. First of all, um, we'll start off with this ship, I suppose. Um... It's already broken. All right. Um. So this is a plane ship that we got. These found these plane wings in the drawer from a plane that we used to have, and we turned it into a ship. So it had an antenna on that side and that side. That's what I knocked off on the windowsill thing. Um. Got a propeller driver in there. If we can focus on him now. Um. Got just guns on the top. Um. Missiles in the back. Pretty sweet ship. Um, it's not fully complete. We want to put more guns on, and we have security cameras on it for some reason. Not sure. Here, this ship is called Carrier. Um, big flatbed thing. Carries all the troopers around. Oh, I burped. Here's some sort of dragon thing. He shoots. If you clamp down on his mouth, it'll shoot a ball. Like a blue ball thing. I don't really want to shoot it right now, but, um, hopefully maybe in another video we can do that. Um... Horrible lighting, sorry about that. Um, but anyways, here is our next ship. This is like a driving around, I don't recall the name of this. It's brand new. My brothers have been loading a lot. Two guns on the front, um, gun in the back it looks like. Or no, this is a front gun I think. Um, pretty sweet wheel set here actually. Um, if we just take a look at that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I love how if I put my hand here... Um, we get a shadow and the whole thing looks dark, and then, boom, it's live again. Oh my gosh, I just killed the guy. Um, yeah. But anyways, lighting is kind of weird right now. Ugh. And I'm kind of tired right now. Main ship, of course, we got the cruiser. Um, should probably have, like, a, brought a tripod or something to hold all this. Um, I'm gonna go get that. Welcome to the new shop, folks. Got a really tall tripod up here. And uh, my flash has even gone off. That'll waste battery, but I don't care. I'm about to go to bed. It'll make the shot look a lot nicer. First, biggest ship we have is the cruiser ship. Um, this is going to make an amazing video. This shot that I got set up with the tripod. Um, so, first of all, it carries ships inside of it. This one has wheels. It rolls. It has a gun in front. These two are twin ships. One with a missile. One with a gun that apparently fell off. But I see it in here. Um, I'm going to put this down to show you the separate ships. I knocked off the other, other antenna on that plane ship over there. This guy is a walker dude. He kind of climbs on stuff. Um, and then he can fold up. I think that's how it goes. Um, so he's very compact. And we can store him. This is a walker inspired by episode World of Tip Over. Episode 6 of Star Wars. Um, he actually moves in the exact same way that Star Wars thing does. Um, very, very nice work by my brother Daniel on that one. Um, this is pretty much identical to the Star Wars version. Sadly, we're going through these fast, but we are limited on time. Anyways, on both... S All right, so, and so pretty much how the ship operates. Um, in the front, we have this exhaust thing. Two wire guns. Um, these are hoses from a fire truck that we had. And then, but now they're guns, apparently, for war. Um, then in the middle, as you can see, is the cargo hold. And then back here is the bridge. This is the, where all the drivers are. We got a huge light up here, putting light down onto the um, cargo or ship hold. Then we got two loudspeakers. We, and then bridge in the middle. We got a whole bunch of control. Don't knock over the tripod. Got a whole bunch of control panels in here where the driver is. Antenna on the back. Two um, side pilots and then imperial droid guards, I guess. If that's what you want to call them. Um, also standing side by side. On the bottom here, um, under the bridge, we actually have a little jail cell. Which there are actually people in right now. Um, wow. On the bottom, and then we have these two things sticking out of the side of the bridge. 
They have engines on the bottom to propel the ship, and then on top, you have, like, rocket launchers, all the machine guns and stuff. Pretty much all the weapons that defend the ship in action are on these two panels. That's what I thought would be a cool idea. That's that ship. Pretty amazing stuff. Um, so now let me put this back. I'm going to readjust this shot. There we go. That should be nicer. Um, this side of the base is pretty much where all the stuff is. We have two lanes that go under here and then out the back and then a lane over here. And then I built this structure on top to put even more ships on. So all the, um, the short ships go under here. And the tall things can come up here. This would never fit under any roof. This is a weird ship. This is a very, very tall. The guy is up here. He doesn't have, even have control, so we just use his mind control. Landing things. He has two guns um, to shoot and murder people in war because um, this is a war base. Um, then up here we call this guy the X-Wing, even though his wings are not an X. Um, he has two rocket blasters on the side. Guy, steering wheel, guns, pretty basic ship. Um, also up here is a speeder. This is a actually from a Star Wars set we had. Pretty good, um, but it was built by Lego people, so not surprised. This ship is called Double Control. It was built by Nathan. It's missing a gun, but there should be a gun on this side. They just fly over here, and there's two drivers um, on both sides with um, steering controls, and he flies, I believe. I don't remember what way it's. I think flies this way because the gun's pointing that way. There should be a gun pointing this way on this side. And then this is his rocket booster, I assume. So that's to double control. Pretty cool ship. This is probably my favorite ship. I just love flying this thing around for fun. Um, this ship is identical, is um, identical, symmetric. Um, has missiles on both sides, uh, spear guns on both sides, and then there's a guy in here. Glass. This is the back of a plane from a big city plane set that we got from Lego, and we just took the back and did this. Um, so basically, steering wheel in there. Um, the thing that I used to close on the roof has a sticker that says Fearweer or something on it. So we just call the ship Fearweer, and it's always nice. Oop, I broke it. It's always nice to, because it's just funny, because we used to do something where every time you came into base, you had to say ship name requesting permission to enter, to enter and then the control guy back here would say permission granted. Um, and I, uh, everyone would crack up every time I'm like, here we are requesting permission to land. I was like, what? Um, but yeah, this is my favorite ship. I just love flying it around and shooting. And it's very durable. Oh my gosh. It's very durable, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Way to go, Hunter. I gotta fix this, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, it doesn't take too long to fix. Oh my gosh, I broke another piece too. I'm probably boring you all right now. I'm sure most of you have clicked off the video at this point in time. Um, I cannot find that piece. I will find it later because I don't want to bore y'all. Um, ship in construction. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I'm, sorry, I'm going to close that episode too because this recording went on longer, but it went on a lot longer. And you guys will see the rest of this clip in episode 3 where I finish showing you guys all the rest of the ships because there's a lot more to go through and I didn't want to put it all into one episode. So anyways, I do hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike this video, leave a dislike. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.